Hi, I'm Doug from the Sydney String Centre, and in this video, I'm going to be showcasing a new line of chin rests that we're carrying by SAS. I'll be talking about the different styles, what type of players they might suit, and how to install them. There are two basic styles that the chin rests come in, the symphony and the original. From the side, they look fairly similar, but when you turn them over, you can see that there is in fact a difference in the shape and they might be more or less suitable for you depending on your body type. Both styles of chin rests come in four different sizes. 24 millimeters in height, 28, 32, and 35. The SAS chin rest is most likely gonna suit you if you've got a longer neck. If you've got a shorter neck, it may still work, but from the testing that we've done, we found that mostly it's people with uh, longer necks that benefit. Obviously, it depends a little bit as well on what type of shoulder rest you're using. So if you're using a really tall shoulder rest and that works for you, then you probably wanna choose one of the shorter um, SAS chin rests. If you tend to use a lower shoulder rest or no shoulder rest at all, uh, you might find that the taller chin rest is gonna suit you. The best way to find out whether it's suitable for you is to come into the store and try it. We generally carry the full range in different heights in both styles. And sometimes it's not till you actually put it on your violin and try it with your shoulder rest and play it for a little while that you can really make a decision as to whether it's appropriate for you or not. All SAS chin rests come with a single barrel, which attaches to your violin. The clamps are designed with, for minimal contact with your instrument, which is great for the sound, and allowing you to sit the chin rest over the tailpiece uh, provides a high level of comfort for most players. One other interesting feature is that by loosening this screw here, you can actually tilt and angle the chin rest to the left or to the right to suit your body type and the way you hold the instrument. When you take the chin rest out of the box, the barrels are gonna be screwed down very tightly and the tilt is gonna be set to central. So the first thing that you'll need to do is take the Phillips head screwdriver, which is included with every chin rest and unscrew the fitting until it's the right size for your violin. To put it on your violin, make sure it's at the right height. Put it on the left side of the tailpiece and use the Phillips head screwdriver to tighten it. But be very careful here because you only want it to be as tight as necessary for it to be stable. When you start screwing, it feels like you can continue to screw until it's really super tight. But if you do that, there's a danger that you can actually damage the ribs. They may warp. In this instance, I've chosen the lowest chin rest, and that's to suit my neck, which is not too long and I've combined it with an Everest shoulder rest because that's the shoulder rest that I would normally be using. This is what it looks like. Choosing the right chin rest for you can be a really tedious task, and some players spend years fine-tuning their setup. We believe that the SAS chin rest can offer a solution for most players. However, it's always best that you try it yourself on your own instrument. If you plan on visiting us, please book an appointment first, and that way one of our specialists can help you through the process. If you'd like to find out more information about our complete range of chin rests, please click on the link below or visit us at violins.com.au and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.